Hi all, Adam here with Ads Projects and today, no project, actually a help guide uh, based on the Zalman ZM350 external hard disk enclosure and the common setup error that seems to occur with these. So, what is a Zalman Cool Innovations ZM-VE350? Well, it's next on a hard disk enclosure, but it also emulates ISO files to be able to boot systems from, keep disk images on, and uh, also acts as an external drive if you copy your documents um, outside of the, the file that you need to store the images on. Um, when it works, it works really well. However, the problem I run into, and a problem a lot of other people is running into, is once you configure these as per the setup documentation, they just don't work. The error reporting is saying is no ISO file, where it quite clearly exists on the system, but it just doesn't see it, and uh, no amount of fiddling actually gets it to work. Now, there are guides out there to fix this. Um, there's a couple that I've run across, um, which some people have had luck with, I didn't. So what I've sort of done is pull bits from various other guides and experience with some other programs to actually format this as it needs and get it working. So hence this video. Um, I will power this up and show you exactly what I mean. Um, this is formatted uh, in an NTF, NTFS state, uh, 250 gig drive with the ISO folder on it. However, and it does have an image in that folder as well, um, as a sent OS net install on it. Um, power it up. And once it powers up, I'll bring this close up. No ISO file. So, as I said, pretty common issue. Uh, I'm going to jump to screen capture now and actually show you quick steps and actually fixing this. So, let's give that a whirl because I've not done screen capture before. This will be fun. Oh, a little while later, and the screen capture software is installed and working well, which is good because it means I can use this on the channel going forward. Now, one thing I've done is I've opened up the volume, which is the Zalman, uh, just to prove that the net ISO image that I mentioned earlier is in there, which is what can't be found. So um, we'll get rid of that. Uh, what we're going to do first of all is go to the Zalman.com website. Uh, under storage, select your drive, uh, which in this case is a ZM-VE350. Click download firmware. Now this will download the exe in a zip file, which you need to run. Um, so close that. Uh, run this now make sure you've plugged your drive in this will then go through find your drive download the image flash the controller and job done and uh, we will re we'll redetect it uh, afterwards right so next we're going to uh, run something called rm prep usb now i'll link down in the video description for this piece of software and um, this is where the magic happens um, now, in my Zalman, I have a 250 gig drive. Uh, this by default won't detect anything larger than 130 gig, so you need to have a software to uh, enable that. Otherwise, in the drive list here, you'll, you won't see any drives. So, settings, this drive's uh, bigger than 128 gig. Obviously, if you have a smaller drive, you don't need to do that. Um, select the drive. Uh, this next stage will wipe anything on here. So, if you do have stuff that you want to keep, take it off. Um, if not, continue. Um, so select your drive, click clean, uh, select OK. Now what this basically does is just remove all the partitions and all the uh, junk on the drive and basically just put it back in an unmounted, unformatted state. Now this will error in the set computer on the basis that this is a new volume. I, it was formatted before I bought it in. It's now going to say that it can't find a drive letter, which will happen any second. Right on cue. If it happens to you, just click OK. Don't worry about it. Now, what you want to do next is select your drive, um, change the partition size if you need to. Um, in this case, I want the maximum partition size available. Uh, leave the name of Zalman. Um, I've seen people change it and it then not work afterwards, so I don't know if that is a requirement somewhere. Um, when PV Sorry, Win PEV2 needs to be selected. Uh, file system needs to be NTFS. And then click Prepare Drive. Now, again, this is going to warn you that it's going to wipe the drive and so forth. Now, it's will repartition it, um, format it at the same time. It'll also, uh, or should, allocate the next drive letter um, for it to identify the drive in Windows. So we'll just wait for that to complete.
Now that's done, again, no message to say it's completed. However, if uh, you can now close that down, uh, in here, you will now notice that you've got your uh, Zalman drivers available. So in here, recreate your underscore ISO folder. And then I'm going to copy the Debian net image I downloaded previously for this. Now, once you've copied this, the drive will be plugged in. It won't immediately come up saying uh, that image is available on the drive. Um, what you actually have to do is unplug the drive, hold down the toggle switch on the left-hand side in the down position, plug it back in, hold it down for three seconds, let go. What that'll do is it'll force the Zalman to actually uh, rediscover the ISO folder and then reread what's inside it, and you shouldn't need to do that again. Um, so let's cut to the disk and see if it works. Right, so you'll note that it still says no ISO file, which is unsurprising. As I said, you need to actually power this off and uh, hold down the toggle switch for this to work. So, uh, bear with me, I'm going to move this out of uh, focus, pull the power out, and I'm going to hold down the toggle switch on the left hand side and plug the cable back in. Give it three seconds, let go, and there we have it. The image is now being read from the ISO file. So, if that's worked for you, um, please give the video a like, uh, drop a comment as well to let me know it's worked. Uh, it'd be good to know if it works for other people as well. Um, subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have a project video next time. So, as always guys, take care and thank you for watching.